Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to talk about one of the most useful and essential tools for any mobile user, cloud storage apps. What are cloud storage apps, you may ask? Well, they are apps that let you store your files online, on a remote server instead of on your device's internal or external memory. This way, you can save space on your device, access your files from anywhere, and keep them safe from loss or damage. But not all cloud storage apps are created equal. There are many factors that make a good cloud storage app, such as how much storage space it offers, how secure it is, how much it costs, what features it has, and how compatible it is with different devices and platforms. That's why, in this video, I'm going to review and compare some of the best cloud storage apps for Android and iOS users. I'll show you their pros and cons, their features and functions, and their prices and plans. So, if you're interested in finding out which cloud storage app is right for you, make sure to watch this video till the end. And by the way, I have added discounted links to all the products in the description section of this video, so don't forget to check them out. Let's get started. The first cloud storage app that I want to talk about is pCloud. pCloud is my number one pick for the best cloud storage app for Android and iOS users. It offers 10 GB of free storage space for new users. And if you need more space, you can upgrade to one of their paid plans that offer up to two terabytes of storage space. pCloud works with Windows, Mac OS, iOS, Android, and Linux, so you can use it on any device that you have. It has a user-friendly interface that lets you easily upload, download, share, and manage your files. It also has a fast upload speed that lets you transfer your files quickly and smoothly. You can set up automatic backup of your photos, videos, contacts, and social media accounts. You can choose which folders or files you want to backup and sync across your devices. pCloud also offers a lifetime subscription option that lets you pay once and use it forever. You don't have to worry about monthly or yearly fees or renewals. You just pay a one-time fee and enjoy unlimited cloud storage for life. That all sounds good, but pCloud also has some drawbacks that you should be aware of. First, the pCloud crypto comes as a paid add-in. This useful feature allows you to encrypt your files with a password and store them on a secure server. This way, no one can see your files except you, not even pCloud. pCloud does not integrate with many third-party apps or services. You can't connect your pCloud account with other popular apps or services like Google Docs, Microsoft Office, Slack, Zoom, etc. You have to use pCloud's own apps or web interface for that. Also, pCloud does not offer live chat or phone support. You can only contact them via email or through their help center. You may have to wait for a while before getting a response or a solution. So these are some of the pros and cons of pCloud. Have you used pCloud before? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're interested in pCloud, check out the special link I have added in the description box down below. You can get a 65% discount using this link. That's right, 65% off. This is a limited time offer, so don't miss the opportunity to grab this amazing deal. The next cloud storage app that I want to talk about is Dropbox. Dropbox is one of the most famous and leading cloud storage providers in the world. It has millions of users who trust it with their files and data. Dropbox offers 2 GB of free storage space for new users. That's not a lot compared to other providers, but it's enough for storing some of your important files. And if you need more space, you can upgrade to one of their paid plans that offer up to 3 terabytes of storage space. Dropbox has a high level of security and encryption for your files. It protects your files from unauthorized access, hacking, or malware. It also lets you set passwords, permissions, and expiry dates for your shared files or folders. Dropbox supports automatic backup and sync of your files across your devices. You can choose which folders or files you want to backup and sync. You can also restore deleted or previous versions of your files within 30 days. Dropbox has a smart workspace feature that lets you organize your files, folders, and projects in one place. You can create and manage tasks, notes, calendars, and more. You can also collaborate and communicate with your team members or clients within Dropbox. As you can see, Dropbox is a powerful and versatile cloud storage provider, but it also has some drawbacks. Dropbox has a low amount of free storage space compared to other providers. You only get 2 GB of free storage space, which can fill up quickly if you have a lot of files. Also, Dropbox has a relatively high price for its premium plans. You have to pay $9.99 per month for 2 terabytes of storage space, or $19.99 per month for 3 terabytes of storage space. That's more expensive than some of the other providers that offer similar or more storage space for less money. Dropbox also has a limit on the number of devices you can link to your account. You can only link up to three devices to your free account or unlimited devices to your paid account. If you have more than three devices that you want to use with Dropbox, you have to upgrade or unlink some of them. Dropbox has been involved in some security breaches and privacy issues in the past. Some of the user's files and data have been leaked or hacked by hackers or third parties. Dropbox has improved its security measures since then, but some users may still have concerns about trusting Dropbox with their files and data. So these are some of the pros and cons of Dropbox. Have you used Dropbox before? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button to support our channel. The next cloud storage app that I want to talk about is Google Drive. Google Drive is one of the most convenient and widely used cloud storage apps for Android and iOS users. 
It's especially popular among those who use Google's products and services. Google Drive offers 15 GB of free storage space for new users. That's more than most of the other providers. But it also includes the space used by your Gmail, Google Photos, Google Docs, etc. And if you need more space, you can upgrade to one of their paid plans that offer up to 2 terabytes of storage space. Google Drive comes pre-installed on most Android phones and Chromebooks and is available for download on iOS devices. It integrates seamlessly with Google's productivity suite, such as Gmail, Google Photos, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, etc. It has a simple and intuitive interface that lets you easily upload, download, share, and manage your files. It also has a fast performance that lets you transfer your files quickly and smoothly. Now, what are the drawbacks? You may ask. Google Drive does not have a strong encryption or security feature for your files. Your files are stored on Google's servers and are subject to Google's privacy policy and terms of service. Google may scan or access your files for various purposes, such as advertising, analytics, or legal requests. Google Drive does not have many advanced features or customization options for your files or folders. You can't password protect your files or folders with a password or a key. You can't set expiry dates or permissions for your shared files or folders. You can't recover deleted or previous versions of your files after 30 days. Google Drive does not support many file formats other than Google's own formats. You have to download them or convert them to Google's formats first. So these are some of the pros and cons of Google Drive. Have you used Google Drive before? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. There are many other cloud storage apps that are worth considering for Android and iOS users, such as iDrive iDrive offers 5 GB of free storage space and up to 5 terabytes of paid storage space. It supports backup and sync of multiple devices, including computers, smartphones, tablets, etc. It also has features like file sharing, versioning, remote wipe, etc. Box is another good option. It offers 10 GB of free storage space and up to unlimited paid storage space. It focuses on business and enterprise users who need collaboration and security tools. It also integrates with many apps and services, such as Microsoft Office, Salesforce, Adobe, etc. Another similar service is Sync. Sync offers 5 GB of free storage space and up to 4 terabytes of paid storage space. It emphasizes privacy and security for your files. It uses end-to-end -end encryption and zero-knowledge architecture to protect your data. It also has features like file sharing, versioning, recovery, etc. Have you used any of these apps before? What do you think about them? Let me know in the comments below. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I will see you in the next video. Check out this video about the best cloud storage providers. It's a must watch.